All right. Mic test, mic test, mic test. You guys know what's going on. ADS Play 101. And I am here doing something that I normally do not do. Um, because I hate making videos like this. That's why I don't do them. I don't like making videos like this. I don't like talking about these situations. And it's ironic that just yesterday, I was telling you guys about how, you know, I was so familiar with certain things happening in my life because of where I came from that I became numb to it in a sense. But I do not like seeing this. You know, and obviously I'm not playing no background music because I'm trying to forego the the uh, the little sentimental music thing because I think there's a message here that needs to be heard clearly. Um, I don't like seeing this. I don't like seeing this. I don't like seeing successful black men that then made something made millions just to continue going back to the hood or wherever and then this bullshit happens. We should not be seeing this right here. Like, we really should not be seeing this. There is no fucking way that a name like Takeoff should have rest in peace next to it. We shouldn't. You do not make it out the hood or become a success and go back to where people are going back to doing activities where people don't value their life let alone your life you have to see yourself as the success that other people won't see you as you can't expect you from other people if you're in a situation where you understand you're going to act a certain way and be respectful and things like that you can't expect everybody to be respectful if you're a person that drinks and you feel like you can hold your liquor, you can't be around other people that's drinking and expect them to hold theirs. It's situations in life where at the first sign of trouble, you literally, no pun intended, have to take off. You have to leave. Try to defuse the situation as much as possible. And understand when I'm more valuable than this. So therefore, I need to leave this shit alone. And when you become a success story, when you go against the odds and you do something great with people who are literally your family members, you know, some people do it with their friends. Some people do it with close relatives, with your, your literal family, your cousin and your uncle. You know what I'm saying? As far as like family members, I guess the only thing that would be closer to that is having an actual brother, but family. When you become a success story with your family, the last thing motherfuckers need to be saying is rest in peace, take off. Now, we've seen since 2019 just this spiral just this downward spiral of rappers getting killed for nothing and yeah we can say you know killing has always been happening and all that but we don't know who those people are as, as far as their names and their image we know who these people are or we know of them you know we connect to them we connect with them you know via their music and their interviews and their personalities that they put out there so we end up developing this 
emotional connection. Now, anybody who knows me knows I, I wasn't the biggest Migos fan at all. I couldn't tell you one Migos song from the next. But one thing about me is that I grew up in a time where I was never a hater. You know what I'm saying? I always can respect another man's hustle. Might not be what I'm into, but you know what? If you're making your ends and you're making your family happy, it's always going to be love and respect there. So again, to see a name like Takeoff have rest in peace next to it. Of all things, because you were shooting dice at a bowling alley. That right there is some different shit. So let's look at the news. And this this broke this morning. Let me get this. Like, like literally, this was this morning. This literally happened like an hour ago. Like, I'm not even joking. So this was posted at, excuse me, not an hour ago, a couple hours ago. This was posted on November 1st uh, at 10 o'clock at 1016 a.m. in Texas. Right? Um, Quavo and uh, Quavo and Takeoff they was um, at a bowling alley I guess they were shooting dice or whatever having fun and um, there was a shooting All right, let me say it like this uh, Migos rapper Takeoff shot to death in Houston and bowling alley reps say so, Houston rapper Takeoff, a member of the popular Georgia group Migos, is dead in an early morning shooting at a Houston bowling alley. He was 28 years old. A representative for Migos who was not authorized to speak publicly has confirmed that rapper, whose real name is, Kershik, is Kershnik Kari Ball, was killed at a bowling alley shortly after 2.30 a.m. on Tuesday. That's today. Well, police responded shortly at 2.30 a.m. to reports of shooting at the 810 Billards in Bolin, where dozens of people had gathered on a balcony outside of the Bolin Alley, which is a third floor. Police say officers discovered one man dead when they arrived. Security guards who were in the area heard the shooting but did not see who did it. The, a police spokesperson said footage obtained by TMZ, TMZ shows Quavo, another former member of Migos, yelling for help after the shooting. I understand I'm doing a video right now, but you really have to understand that I'm tired of seeing this shit, bro. It's like, I get it. I don't know what made them want to you know, I heard some reports. I've seen some people saying that they were shooting dice at the at the balcony or whatever like that. Um, or what else? Like, uh, you know, so it was one of those things where you really have to, to understand when you're, I won't say bigger than the program, but you have to understand when you need to stay away from certain things. You have to understand when you got to stay away from certain things, man. If you are a millionaire, right? If you're a millionaire, what the hell are you doing so publicly accessible to where somebody can do this? Because that's crazy. I get it. You still want to feel like you, you know, like you touchable. That people can still reach you. You can still shake a hand, but you got to look at certain things, bro. Like you can't expect. It's, it's like I said earlier. You can't expect you from other people. When you're worth millions, and your music is streaming everywhere. Y'all got some of the biggest hits in the past, you know what I'm saying, 10 years, regardless of what you think about their music, they had hits, bro, and they still got them. The last thing you should be caught doing at any given time is shooting dice. And I'm only giggling because it's like, 
it's a piece of my mind that just don't get it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, your story is not shouldn't have ended like this. You know, I understand they had like a little split with Offset, um, and in uh in uh Quavo and Takeoff, they um they was doing like a duo project, and I don't know if because you know Offset was on bad terms with him or whatever like that, but. If that's the case, boy, to, to get news like this during a time like that, you know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure, I mean, they family, they would have made up. That's that's nothing. You know, Thanksgiving around the corner, they would have seen each other. You know what I'm saying? It's not anything. It wasn't anything preventing them to get, from getting back together. And it would have been big. You know, especially people that's been fans of them since the beginning. You know what I'm saying? These dudes literally came up together. You know what I'm saying? Um, and when you're a person that witnessed that that rise over the years because they've been in the limelight ever since they hit they've never not been in the limelight you know whether it's videos of them buying jewelry or you know what I'm saying doing interviews or whatever they've always been in the limelight non-stop Let me say this, bro, because a lot of people don't learn from other people's mistakes because him being there, being who he is was a mistake. And when I say who he is, and I don't personally know him, you know, but you have to be more careful where you move, especially when you're a valuable asset to somebody, especially your family above all else. When you get to a point in your life where you are a success, you have to come to the realization that you may have to stop doing certain things. You may have to stop going to the hood, you may have to stop bringing certain people around. I'm, I'm not saying cut them off. It's like this. If somebody, and and this goes for anybody, I'm not just talking about Migos and Takeoff and, you know, Takeoff or whatever like that, but I'm, I'm talking about other people as well, no matter who you are. Understand where you're at. Understand where you're at in your life and understand where you're at physically, you know, the, the place that you're in. And if where you're at in your life doesn't match up to what your surroundings are, leave. If you're a positive person in a negative situation, leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, the best analogy I can give is don't be a vegan in a spot that serves chicken wings. Don't argue with them. Don't do nothing. Just leave. You know what I'm saying? It's not for you. You have to see when you're more valuable than the activities that you're doing. There is no way a multi-millionaire should be shooting dice in a damn bowling alley and then some shit like this happen. Like I said, there's reports that he was shooting dice at the top of the balcony where there was and it's just like when you're shooting dice, you know niggas are smoking, niggas is drinking and everybody's not able to control their liquor. You know, in the hood, bro, look, like you're talking to somebody that been there and done that. <laughs> in the hood, bro, it's only a few things that get niggas killed. Um, either a female set them up, either they wasn't on point the way they were supposed to be on point, when they were supposed to be on point, or they were shooting dice. Because in those situations, it's like, 
people who can't control their emotions, you know, you don't know what they have on them, especially these days when emotions are so front and center. Gene Speed, what's up? I mean, I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was Quavo's fault. I'm just going by what the reports were saying. They said they were shooting dice and they was at a balcony. My whole point is why the hell were they there to begin with? You know what I'm saying? I get you want to go out and have fun and all that. But sometimes you got to know when you need to stay away from certain activities in order for you to be there. You know what I'm saying? But regardless, bro, like, everything ain't worth being a part of. You know, it's got to be something that clicks in your head that, okay, I'm a multimillionaire. I got all this going on in my life. The last thing I need to do is put myself in a situation where people typically don't think with their brains. And shooting dice is literally one of the hood activities. That's shooting dice in a hood. Look, dudes get shot over shooting dice because they feel like oh you done loaded the dice you done tricked them oh you done rolled some people get mad because they losing and then they try to act a certain, like that's the last thing people need to be doing exactly where are the bodyguards and this is just what I was saying earlier like you got to understand where you're more valuable than your environment you know what I mean like you have to understand when you're worth something and the people that are maybe around you, be it friends or not, aren't going to value that as much as you will. So you have to separate yourself as far as just getting out of, the, out of that situation. If that means just leaving the, the venue or leaving the place, good. Uh, at, at least you're left with your life. Because again, we should not be seeing... R.I.P. next to a name like Takeoff. This dude was 28 years old. And if you one of those people that can't control your anger to where you feel like you gonna go then just stay away from shooting dice. I guarantee you the dude who did this You know what I'm saying? Like, I guarantee you the dude who did this was either too fucking emotional or he was drunk. It was one of the two. You say just don't go to ATL, Houston, or LA. I mean, sh hey, you got people that live in those cities that still got it going on. I won't say don't go there. What I would say is just be careful who you're around. You know what I'm saying? Don't go to places that you know aren't favorable to your situation. Don't go to places that you know everybody ain't ain't all the way there. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to go to the trenches. You know, some people want to go to the hood and act like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm still I'm still tough and all that. Nah, bro. You don't make millions and make it to the status that the Migos make just to go back to the slums and then some bullshit like this happen. Now, I'm not saying they was in the slums when this happened. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is typically that's what people do. And this is the end result of that. You know what I mean? Like. And like I was trying to say earlier, if you're a person that has people around you who still has that goon mentality and they don't understand how to have fun or indulge in certain activities without them getting too emotional, to the person who has the most sense within that group, talk to those people. You know, anytime somebody is willing to bump heads with the greater good for you, them the people are the ones you need to keep around anytime you have somebody who don't know when to stop acting up for their own goddamn good 
Either educate them or leave them. Because the dude who did this, they could have left that dude at the house. Y'all know that dude wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't in his right mind. Because some people look at celebrities like take off and they, you know, they look at them like, oh, you all the way up here. How dare you look down at me? You know what I'm saying? And say X, Y, Z to me. You know, you're a celebrity. You ain't special. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, some people have, feel like they got something to prove already when they see a celebrity around them. And the celebrity didn't even do nothing to them. There's some people that will see Usher walking into an ice cream shop and because Usher didn't hear him saying hi to him, they think, oh, Usher's better than me. Or any celebrity for that matter. So they all, so you got these people who in their own, in their own mind, they already have a chip on their shoulder to to prove something that you're not so special but obviously without going too far off man um i'm gonna say rest in peace take off bro like like i said like the one i'm feeling the most for was one for quavo because he was actually there when it happened and he was trying to get help for takeoff I mean, I seen a picture of him literally standing over Quavo. I, I seen Quavo. Quavo it, was, it was a picture of him literally standing over Takeoff, like holding him up, trying to trying to get him up. So that, like, you're witnessing that right there. Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? My heart goes out to Quavo. You know? Um, and, of course, to Offset, because, you know, he ended up leaving Amigos, I guess, to do some other stuff. People say they was on bad terms. I don't think they was on bad terms. I think they just went their separate ways for the time being. Maybe Offset didn't want to do music as much and they wanted to continue doing music. Um, but they would have got back together, bro, like hands down. I mean, they family. They got to see people at like, you know, you know, like they know the same people. Like they got the same aunties, same uncles, same mamas, same, you know what I'm saying? Like they got the same family members. They're going to be around each other at Thanksgiving and all that. So, but in the midst of that little debacle, to have this happen, I really feel for Offset. I really feel for him. But for, for Quavo, for sure, because, you know, um, if I'm not mistaken, Takeoff was Quavo's nephew. I, I think they talked about that in the video. So, I think, you know... I guess they was born around the same time or whatever like that, but you know, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's still one of those situations where you have to be careful, man. Like you have to be careful. You have to know when to leave things alone that do not benefit your well being. You know, once you make it a certain success, you got to stop doing certain activities, bro. Like, for example, you'll never see Jay-Z somewhere shooting dice. You'll never see, you know what I'm saying, Big Daddy Kane or KRS-One or any of these guys going to a place that isn't in their best interest. It's not in their best interest to be there. You know what I'm saying? Um... You have to understand your value and move accordingly. So with that being said, man, I, I, I didn't want to be too long-winded. I just felt like I had to get that off my chest. You know, rest in peace, take off. Um, bro, it's a sad situation, man.